born in. And as we round off Sheep Corner, surprisingly enough, it's rather damp. And yet the weather forecast said 0% chance of rain. But we'll take them on the word and hopefully that they'll get better. We'll see. Today's plan is ahead for the seaside. And first of all, meeting up with the others at Layla's Calf in Craven Arms. Which means I'll have to pass the Ludlow Farm Shop. Now there's a thought. It's a tad moist going over the top of Clee Hill. But with any luck, the rain will clear as we get down the other side. The rain's as good as stopped. So let's just give the lens a quick wipe over while we've stopped at the lights. The Ludlow Farm Shop. And before you know it, we had a load of dry cured smoked bacon and some Welsh dragon sausages. So that's a few meals for next week sorted out. A bit of train spotting at the level crossing at Onibri. And there we go, it shouldn't be too long. And we're away. Seeing as the drifter went on to reserve whilst coming over Clee Hill, best thing to do is fill up a petrol before getting breakfast. Here we are, Layla's Calf at Craven Arms, and a little dedicated motorcycle parking bay. I was a bit early, so I had plenty of time to eat my breakfast before the others arrived. Right, all full of petrol, all full of food, it's off we go. One drifter and two Royal Enfield meteors. And through Church Stoke with Archie Lily's calf there on the left behind the petrol station. Well worth a visit if you fancy a nibble while you're passing through. We roll onto the Seasons Calf at Casus to grab another cuppa. Before long, we're back on the back lanes again, which suits me. One of the viewpoints at Glinclua Dog. So we stop, take a look around, take a few photographs, as you do. Oops, somebody else turning up to have a look at the view. There we are, clean clue dog. and a couple of shifty looking Enfield riders. And the mountain road that leads down to McCuntleth. I shall let the camera run a bit here because the scenery speaks for itself. Certainly a top of the world moment up here. And 
before long we're down in the town itself. And luckily all that rain from earlier on has disappeared. It's a blue sky. There's white fluffy clouds. And we're getting ever closer to the seaside. Things are looking good. Then it's off on the A493 towards Towing. Then just the other side, the village of Pennell. We take the unclassified roads again, this time going through Happy Valley. And let's see if it is. Well, with scenery like this, it certainly makes me happy. Uh, yeah, I reckon Happy Valley is the correct name. We come out back on the A349, just on the outskirts of Towing. So it's through Towing. right there is Holgate's ice cream shop which we always used to call in at when we were camping just up the road from here many years ago there we go the seaside and quite a pleasant coast road to be honest so we'll carry on and let the camera roll for a bit. See, it's all looking jolly good. Once again, we do the stop and look around thing. I just left the helmet camera running and took a slow walk around. And now the horizon isn't really that shape, it's the lens of the camera. Right, let's head back to the bike and carry on. Now the plan was to try and find the railway bridge at Barmouth which apparently you can ride over on a motorcycle. So right, let's see if we can find this air bridge. Well, we can see Barmouth there in front of us. So that's a good sign. We're heading out of Fairbourne with the steam train coming towards us. I have a feeling we'll be turning round. This road ends at the coast and there certainly isn't a bridge down here. Not that I'm aware of anyway. But still, it's a nice day. It's a nice place. So, let's get on with it. Right, a slight change of plan. If we can't find the railway bridge, 
there's a toll bridge a little further up the estuary and I think we should be able to find that without too much trouble. This will be the toll bridge then. And many thanks to Jonathan who kindly paid our toll. It certainly tests the suspension riding across this. Right, hopefully, next stop, Barmouth. In front, you can see the railway bridge, which we should have come across. Talking to the chap on the toll bridge, he told us where the entrance to the railway bridge was as we come into Barmouth. So at least we know how to get to it from this end. Maybe next time. And there on the left is the path that leads down to the railway bridge. Just where that fellow is going with his push bike. This is Richard's usual parking spot. But I don't feel like trying to squeeze past people that are sitting at benches eating the dinner. So I'll sit and wait. I can get through safely now without fear of squashing anyone. So I think the best thing to do is park up and go in search of dinner. Always a good idea. We had dinner in the Mermaid Chippy just round the corner. I opted for the curry sauce and chips, a round of bread and butter and a cup of coffee. Anyway, it's late afternoon so we best start heading toward home. And it's through Bala. up and over the Burwins in glorious late afternoon sunshine with an empty road oops and a woolly speed bump I photographed a few pre-digital fuel pumps only to find that I'd already photographed them earlier in the year there you go Right, petrol time again. I managed to get 10.25 litres in, which is two and a quarter gallon in real money, after covering 171 miles. So today the drifter was doing 76 miles to the gallon, which I'm more than happy with. Turn off down the A458, back towards Bridge North, whilst I carry on the A5. Then the A5 turns into the M54. around Junction 2 on the M54 where the camera battery runs out. But it's not too bad, it's been running for over 7 hours and all in all, good day. It started off a bit wet, got warmer and drier, had dinner at the seaside 
and covered 275 odd miles which to me makes it a good day out. Okie doke. See you next time.